What's up guys, Michigan Air Gunner. Today we're gonna to be doing our speed testing on the Element 58. Um, I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I got that I'm working with now. I got a new tripod that nobody bought me. I bought it, I found it on Amazon. I did a bunch of research on it. And uh, really, I found to find a good tripod. Look at Coyote Hunters, watch their YouTube channels and stuff and check out some of the stuff they got because they don't want to spend a bunch of money either. But um, I found a nice one. It's rated for 55 foot or 55 pound load capacity. Um, it's got a 44 millimeter ball, carbon fiber legs, very nice and smooth, 250 bucks. I mean, it's basically just like a, any other one that you're gonna pay five, 600 bucks for. And then we got a new compressor thanks to Terry Fox. So I'm gonna flip you guys over, show you that, and then we're gonna get to doing our speed test. Check that out. I'll post a link to this below. Let's see here. It's got nice rubber grips to be able to tighten and loosen the legs. A hook if you wanna carry stuff super awesome 44 millimeter ball head arca swiss mount and then we're gonna be using the little foot sent to us by terry fox foxairpower.com great little compressor so far so we're gonna go ahead get filled up get some shot strings going We'll do three shots for the Mr. Hollow Point and each KRS slug. And then at the end, we're going to shoot our most expensive target we've ever shot. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So first up, we have the Mr. Hollow Point's 457. I'm going to run the numbers, then I'll screenshot it and put it up on the screen. We are shooting at just just below 4500 it's cold i filled it up to 45 and i think we're at about 43. i like having my jeep right here i got a nice little rest i can put stuff on now i just gotta hope this thing works because we all know how finicky the FX chronograph can be. So, shot number one. Seven thirty-five. Shot number two. Seven nineteen. Let's do one more. And that one didn't read. That's just the way it goes with these things. So let's take a look here. So at 735, we have 570 foot-pounds. At 719, you have 545 foot-pounds. So I'm guessing that third shot would have dropped just below 700, and we probably would have still been right at 500 foot-pounds. So. There we go. I'm gonna refill and do it again. All right, guys. Now we're gonna try the 440 and see how those do. Hopefully we read all the shots this time. Woo. Almost did it. 
did that backwards. Load it, then cock it. That's how bad things happen. All right, here we go. Eight hundred, right on the nose. Next. Seven fifty four. One more. Let's see if she reads. Seven twenty four. So let's check that out. So that is six hundred and twenty five foot pounds that is at eight hundred feet per second. That is five hundred and fifty five foot pounds at seven fifty four and five hundred and eleven foot pounds at 724. So now we'll refill up and check the next ones. All right, guys, one more go with the uh, 380 grain mini devastator hollow point from KRS. It's basically the lightest slug I could find in 58 caliber. So, oh, let's see what happens. Eight hundred and thirty three. Eighty six. Seven hundred and eighty six. Seven hundred and fifty four. So let's look at that. So that is five hundred and eighty five foot pounds at eight hundred and thirty three feet per second. That is five hundred and twenty one foot pounds at eight or seven sixty seven eighty six and 479 foot pounds at 754 feet per second so that's that's some pretty good wallop and so far from 4500 we're ending at about 3000 every time no matter what slug i've used i'm ending at about 3000 so we're going to fill it up one more time set up that target and we're going to shoot it once with each slug to see what happens. All right, guys. So we're going to use each slug to shoot my most expensive target I had. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys what it is. I have not done a review, full review on this. And this is kind of why it's a good target. So shot number one, Mr. Hollow Point, 475. I might have to go set it up, but I hope not. Ooh, just low. KRS 440. Gonna aim a little bit high. Ooh, damn hole. 
Mini Devastator. See if I can hit that top piece there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go check it out. <sighs> so, I really, really dislike this thing. So that is why it became my most expensive target. It has not worked 100% since I started taking it out into the field. Let's flip you over. That's right. There it is. The KRS compressor. Or not KRS. The GX compressor. I mean, it was stand though. It was stand. It got a little chunk. Look at that. Didn't even hurt it. Other than the broke the rivets. And then, good size hole right down in there. But anyway, every time I took this out into the field once winter started, I've had to fix this thing. It would work great for the first run, and then after that it would only go to uh, 3,000 PSI. Um, I just got real tired of it. So after fixing it many times and taking it apart and putting it together, Terry sent me the little foot, and then I was like, you know what? We're going to shoot this piece of crap. I'm just over it. I mean, could I have fixed it again? Would it have worked good in the summer? Sure. Probably. But with the proper maintenance and everything that they say, in 20 degree, 30 degree weather, this thing's shit. It does not work very well. Um, it's about 30 degrees, and with that little foot, I filled my gun five times without a single problem. So I'm going to stick with that, see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't end up on my target block. Until next time, guys, keep shooting.